Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, also known as your Title King. What box do I check? This is a common question we get from realtors that are doing deals, that where they ask us, what box do I check for title insurance? So I'm gonna cover all three boxes, and usually there's a common theme with a lot of them that a lot of people just miss. They check one box when they may mean to check a different box. We're talking about the box in, in the regular real estate contract, in the FAR bar contract, that talks about who is going to pay for title insurance, who is going to select the title agent, and who is gonna pay for certain charges. So if you look in your real estate contract with hopefully you have it in front of you, or you can pull up a copy pretty quick, pause the video for a second, and have this contract in front of you and look at the three different options. The one I wanna talk about first is the, the first box, box A that talks about seller picks the title company. Typically, anywhere north of Broward County, uh, the seller usually selects the title company in the rest of the state. And there are many reasons for that. But if you know the seller is picking the title company and the seller is paying for the owner's title insurance policy, you would want to check box A. Now, if you're a real estate investor, you need to be careful if you're wholesaling properties or you're doing an assignment, a contract, to make sure whatever box is checked on the first contract is then checked on the second contract to make sure you're not getting double hit for closing costs. So make sure you're not paying for closing costs as the buyer, and then when you're selling, you're paying for closing costs uh, as a seller, and then you get double hit. So the first box is the seller's gonna pick the title company. A lot of times in short sales or REO properties, you're gonna see this box checked where the seller pays for title insurance, and they're gonna rightfully select the title agent that's gonna handle the closing. As we've said in previous videos, it's not always a guarantee. Doesn't mean just because the property's in Palm Beach County and the seller customarily pays for title that you as the buyer cannot select the title company. You just have to know what box to check and negotiate. I always say it's better for a buyer to select the title company, the buyer to select the person that's going to insure their property as opposed to selecting someone that maybe the seller chose, maybe it's a friend or a family member of the seller. So you always wanna make sure as the buyer, I feel that you're, you, know, you have someone that's looking out equally for you as well as the, the seller to get the closing done. So now the one box that causes the most confusion is box B. A lot of people select box B because it's the second box and it talks about buyer pays for title insurance and selects the title insurance company. But what they do not realize, and especially when we're getting involved in lender deals, is that box two would require the buyer to pay for the municipal lien search, which sometimes could be two, three, four hundred dollars. And sometimes we'll get to closing and the lender is going to say, well, this is a charge that the seller is supposed to pay. And we said, no, unfortunately, the buyer or the buyer's agent selected box number two, which requires that the buyer is going to pay for the municipal lien search. So it's a very big expense that if you know which box to check, you could be saving your buyer some money and make sure you're doing what's right in the contract. So again, box A is the seller picks. Box B is going to be the buyer picks the title company, the buyer pays for title insurance, and the buyer will pay for the municipal lien search. Then we go to box C, and this is the one that, that is pretty self-explanatory, where it's called the Broward Miami-Dade Regional Provisional. And I always tell people, if you're in Broward or Miami, if there's a regional provisional specific to the two counties that you're doing real estate in, you should probably check that box. That's your safest bet. What does that mean? So the box basically means that the buyer is gonna pick the title company, the buyer is going to pay for title insurance, which is customary in Broward County. Doesn't always have to be, but it's customary. But the seller would pay for the title search and the seller would pay for the municipal lien search, which could save that buyer a few hundred dollars. So it's very, very important to know which box you're dealing with, know which contract you're working with, and know which box to check. So to recap, A, seller, B, buyer with a higher expense of some of the, the, the smaller fees, and then C is the Broward Miami-Dade Regional Provisional, which means that the buyer will pay for title insurance, pick the title company, but the seller will pay for some of those expenses that get us to closing. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video to help you understand which box to check. If you're a consumer, you'll know to check that contract and see which box you're checking. And if most importantly, if you're a realtor, you'll know which box to check properly to get your client to the closing table. 
So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know you watched the video. Maybe another idea of a future video that we can do to help take your business to the next level. As always, Kevin Thatcher, the owner of Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.